Welcome to another show of Concertina Styles and Smiles. Today we have Tom Moran on. Right now, you hail from Mankato, I believe. Yep. What's your occupation? Uh, I'm an auto mechanic okay. at the Toyota dealership in Mankato. Okay. How many years have you been there? 15. You must own the place by now. No? Getting real close. Okay. <laughs> anyway, whatever got you playing? How old were you when you started? Um, I think when I started, I would have been about uh, eight or nine. Okay. Something like that. So, did you start on this concertina, or did you have a? Nope, I had something different. I think it was a Stradivarius, and I think I started off on like a double or a triple, but it didn't have a high-low switch on it. So mm -hmm. I, I begged Dad to get one with a switch on it. So then we moved up to a little. I think it was a quad. Okay. I suppose so, you were driving your dad a little nuts with that. Uh, a little Double bit. read, was it? Did well, you I don't quite remember. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my dad played with uh, different bands, and I'd kind of been around it a little and seen it and just... Who is your dad? Does anybody know him around I Nuwam? don't know if anybody in New Ulm knows him, okay. but Steve Moran. Well, he played with the Winnegar Band and yes, amongst a... others, but... That's kind of where I got my first taste of uh, polka music was just riding along with the Winnegar band. Okay. So. What was your first paying gig where you got actually paid for playing? Hmm. Probably, uh, well, it's probably the first full job that I paid played with the Winnegars. Okay. Um, I just looked before we came. It was February 27th of 2010. Eight years ago. So, okay. do you remember the first number? I'm sure you would. The first number you played on stage with the Winnegars? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. I played uh, Andy's Polka. Let's hear it. Do you still re remember it? Oh, if I, I remember right, that's one of your dad's favorite tunes. I know <laughs> Remember right too, going back a ways, I believe Donnie Klossner recorded that. Yes. Yes, he did. I think, I don't know if anybody recorded it before him, but I remember that was one of his favorite tunes. Yep, I think you're right. So, going way back when you were still practicing, what was the hardest, uh, I know what I found the hardest was playing two notes two eighth notes to a quarter note on your left hand. Did you ever have any trouble with that, breaking that? Oh, I had a lot of trouble playing left hand when I okay. first started. I, I think I, well, when I was young, I didn't play left hand at all. Oh. And so I played for three or four years, something like that, and then uh, my parents ended up getting divorced, and a few years later, my brother and I moved with my mom, mm -hmm. and so kind of concertina stayed with dad, and that was kind of it, you know. And then uh, fast forward quite a few years when I got married, um, I kind of started to get interested in it again. And my wife surprised me with a concertina for my birthday one year. 
and kind of got back into playing a little bit. So that kind of started off the same way. I couldn't do left hand at all. And, and, and you knew you were missing something, I bet? Oh, yeah. And, also, hand, yeah. and finally, I just, you know, I kind of practiced it a little bit, but it just very hard to put them both together, you know, and not try to not think about one thing while you're doing the other. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, it just kind of clicked. So. so is this the concertina your wife bought you? No, nope, that was a... That was a different one as well. That was a trip. What brand is this? This is a Wolf. Okay. So. Do you, do you know where they're made? Wolf concertinas? They, well, that Anton Wolf, he was from Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Okay. And I think he started off there like in the late 60s mm -hmm. making concertinas. And then sometime in the 80s, he started getting help from Jerry Menard oh, with sure. different things. and. Mm -hmm. um, and so then at a certain point, I think Jerry was doing an awful lot of the work. So how did you... So this, this could have been, you know... How'd you run across this then? Uh, I just happened to find it on Craigslist. Okay. I was looking for a B flat and I didn't want to spend a lot of money and this mm -hmm. one came up and I went and looked at it and I thought it sounded okay, so... So let's hear... A, you just played a polka. Let's hear a waltz for entertain the people. Oh, alrighty. Watching this show. I gotta check my cheat sheet. Oh, I was gonna play uh, This Is My Heart. Where's your sheet of music? Uh, I just thought I would play stuff that I know. Okay. Do you, so, do you use the cheat sheet at all? Um, 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 um. I do sometimes. I prefer to play off of memory. I think it comes out a little better. Mm -hmm. I just think it comes yeah. out smoother if you, well, if you know it good enough to play it by memory. But I feel like even when I know a song, if I'm reading along with the music, it tends to kind of get like a typewriter where you're yep. maybe not feeling it yep. quite as good. So, so you want to speaking of you said you had to check your cheat sheet yeah. or your list. Do you want to turn that over? Not many people know that concertina players have a list of songs to play there when when your mind goes blank or whatever. Right. You want to call it. Yeah. So you learned when you first started learning. Did you have a Sheet of music then, or was it? Oh yeah. Oh, yep. you did. Okay. Yep. I started off 
Well, I think I started off like this, you know, because they got numbers on the buttons. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. of course, when you start off, you don't know where the numbers are, so mm -hmm. you, I would play like this until I got to the point where I knew that song, so then I'd put it on my lap and try to play it without looking, you know, like this the whole time. That was determination. And mm -hmm. so that's, that's kind of how I learned. What kept you going? Just your... Well, I don't know. Yeah. It's just something to do, and okay. I enjoy the music a lot. I always, you know, liked listening to the music, and um, when I was first starting off and kind of learning there, right around that time, kind of in the late 80s, early 90s, Carl Hartwig started playing along with the Winnegars quite mm -hmm. a bit. Maybe he was before, but I just didn't remember. But um, And I just really liked the way he played, and mm -hmm. uh, so, the rest you know, history. I just kind of wanted to be like Carl, I guess. What's the next tune on your mind here? Oh, oh yeah, boy. Check that cheat sheet out. Oh, how about Overcoat Folk? I seem to get a lot of requests for that one. Okay. So. Cool. Well, yeah. they, they can clear the dance floor while their dance floor is <laughs> clearing here. All right. Do you play any other instruments? Uh, or no. did you at one time? I did. Uh, I did play a little bit of piano, uh, probably even before I played concertina, so kindergarten, okay. first grade, something like that, but I didn't stick with that very long. You said you're married with children? I am. Any of the kids? In the music? Uh, my oldest daughter is playing cello. How old is she? She's 19. Uh, locally? So or she Mankato? You're from Mankato, right? Yep. Okay. Um, is that where she plays? Uh, well, she played in high school in Mankato. Now she's going to college in Madison, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And so she is in a, a little group that gets together and plays 
I don't know if it's 40 or 50 people or something like that. So a kind little, of a you said a little yeah group. maybe it's not so little. <laughs> kind of a community type deal mm -hmm. I think or I, I guess I'm not sure if it's through the school or what. But I take it. And then my my kindergartner is in piano lessons right now. Okay. So. Just the two children. Uh, there's one in between that. That's musical third also. No. Nope. Taking after you. No. She's not playing anything right now, but uh, maybe in the future. How old is she? She's Did nine. But she looks at the old man playing that and going, count me out, huh? <laughs> they, uh, it doesn't even phase them. I play so much that it's just a normal thing that mm -hmm. dad's going to be sitting you, around playing. Is your wife play any instrument? Uh, no. Did you have to she encourage doesn't. the kids to get into music or just from you setting an example? Um, I think it's just something that uh, we let them decide if they wanted to or not, and we probably gave them a little nudge. but. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you think up of one to dedicate to your wife and kids? Ah, uh, okay. All right, check that cheat sheet out here. How about, uh, this is one called uh, Moon Over Dodge. Um, you ever heard that before? Yes, I have. Dodge, Count Dodge, Boy, I don't even know. Wisconsin. Probably Dodge, Wisconsin. Dodge, Wisconsin. I... That's where Carl Hartley hails from, right? Ah, uh, somewhere over there. So. Off on a tangent, do you do any singing when you play like you're... Not your usually, does, maybe so. just for fooling around, but no. Okay, not, let's uh, play this one for your family. Okay. Moon over That's a tough one. Yes, it is. I was watching your fingering there. You're going into F fingering. Yeah, it's uh, F fingering is and B that flat. First part. I think yep. you were hitting uh, B flat fingering. So yeah, it's E flat, e B flat. flat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting Anything. to feel like a McDonald's French fry under these lights here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have time, for, I believe, for one more tune. Okay. What would you like to do in a closing tune here? This, uh, here we have a, if you, this is Tom Moran from Mankato, again on Concertina. Um, and he's just reading his cheat sheet yeah. that he's hiding. How about uh, Potter's Polka? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Smiley. Excellent.